review the strawberry banana McDonald's smoothie. It was kind of horrible. What isn't horrible though is the Canon 75 to 300 millimeter lens. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because when I was looking for a telephoto lens, I got the impression that nobody really liked it. Uh, people are pretty much saying it is the worst lens made by Canon and you should steer clear. You know, they'd recommend things like the 70 to 200 f4 or something like that, but that is a $600 lens. And I think that's ridiculous. So today, we're gonna give you five reasons why you should consider buying the 75 to 300 millimeter. You see, the first reason you'd want to pick it up is price. All right, so enough fooling around, let's get down to business. So price. Yes, I realize this doesn't apply to everyone, but the majority of photographers do it as a hobby and not professionally, and we can't all justify blowing our paychecks on L-series red ringed lenses. If this applies to you, then you'll like what I have to say next, because you can pick this lens up refurbished from Canon for under $80, which is pretty dang cheap for a telephoto lens. And along with price, we've got build quality. Just kidding, I was not going to do a drop test for you guys. Alright, and the second reason you should consider picking up this lens is because of the good build quality. Now, after hearing the price of this lens, you might assume that Canon cuts some corners on materials, but there's not really a cheap feeling part on this lens. The main body is made of metal and plastic, and Canon even included a metal mounting ring, which is definitely a good thing, because this lens is pretty hefty. If you're looking for a durable lens that's going to last for a number of years, check this guy out, because this lens has got you covered. So the price? Good. The build quality? Great. But, what about the zoom range? Well, this one's pretty obvious, but as the name suggests, the 75 to 300 millimeter lens can have a focal length of anywhere from 75 to 300 millimeters. That means that you can take a picture like this and zoom in as much as this, all with just one lens. 75 millimeters can be a little tight for shooting indoors or in cramped spaces, but if you're shooting anything far away, you'll be easily able to frame your subject any way you want. It's also decent for macro photography. I was a little too close to the flowers in this instance, but you can get surprisingly sharp results if you take your time and snap a few photos. Which brings me to point number four, which is performance. Now, I'd be lying if I told you that I was in love with this lens. I enjoy using it, sure, but the first time you take photos with it, don't expect it to knock your socks off. The quality of images produced is just average, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, the lens serves its purpose. It allows you to take photos from a distance. Whether you're shooting birds in the skies or stalking strangers on the streets, you can do so from afar, and that's all this lens is supposed to do. Sure, you'll get some chromatic aberration at times, the occasional blurry shot, but at the end of the day, if you go out and shoot, you can still take beautiful photos with this lens. Alright, so as you can see, the performance speaks for itself. Uh, I think when you read online, you'll see a lot of people just completely bashing this lens. But it's not bad, it's just not great. And that sort of segues into reason number five, which is bang for your buck. Now, this isn't the best performing lens on the market. Right, there's so much better, and in fact, it may be Canon's worst lens. But for the price, so bang for buck ratio, it's a pretty good deal. So reason number five is sort of just a combination of all the previous reasons, but essentially you can get a well-built lens with an exceptional focal range and decent image quality for under a hundred dollars, and that's a pretty good deal if you're on a budget. And sure, you may end up outgrowing this lens if your passion for photography continues to grow, but if you're looking for your first telephoto lens, I'm sure there are worse options out there. At least, made by other brands. Probably.
like this hat for example. It may have been the cheapest and probably worst hat that they have, but that doesn't necessarily make it a bad hat. That just worked out kind of perfect. But wait, you think you got away from me? Uh, as always, if you like the video, be sure to like it. If you have any questions, have any comments, hit up that comment section down below. And if you hated the video, but still love the touristy hat, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you all next time. I'll see you all next time. You'd think I'd have that down by now.